So today I wanted to do a quick comparison and review video of my uh, two Worksmates for you guys. Uh, the first one here on the left is the Workmate 125. I purchased this back in 2018. I've been using this on all of my projects, outside and inside. Uh, so it's got quite a bit of use. And then I got the Workmate 225 about uh, two months ago, just as a bit of an upgrade. So initially I purchased this one, the Workmate 125, uh, back in 2018 for $25. So I think I've got my fair share use out of it. Now they list more commonly, I think, for about $37, $38 on like Home Depot or Amazon. Uh, the 225, uh, I got this on sale for $49, I believe. Uh, same thing, uh, same sales on Home Depot or Amazon, anything like that. But those are more commonly, I think, like $100, not on sale. So I would say either way, watch for a sale. Um, this one has been through the ringer. I broke the handles off and had to remake the handles. But it has been a great workbench all around. These are the same height. Um, but the Workmate 225, its legs can fold in uh, and it can be a little shorter. So these legs underneath here, they'll fold down uh, and it can sit about six inches lower. So that's kind of a useful useful little tip there if uh, if you need a shorter workbench. Um, and But they have drastically different opening widths here. So. so on the 125, you're gonna get about four and a half inches between the parallel clamps. And then if you're using the dogs, uh, you're gonna get closer to 10 and a quarter. On the 225, this one is adjustable. It'll fit in different slots. Uh, and we're gonna get up to nine and a half between the parallel bars there. Uh, and then between the dogs, you're going to get up to 16. So this doesn't have an actual 16 inch throw, but this moves and comes out. It's a little easier to do two handed, but it does do that. And you can see we got three slots and this will drop in and then we can get different opening widths based on that. Uh, these are worlds different in terms of stability. So. The 125 is supposed to hold 350 pounds, and then this is supposed to hold 450 pounds, but they are drastically different. So this, I've mixed a lot of mortar on, uh, up to an 80 pound bag, add a little water, so I probably get, you know, 80, 90 pounds on there. Uh, and it's got some pretty good wiggle to it. This one's a lot sturdier, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw some weights on top and kind of give them an equal push. But I'm gonna give just each a little shove and you can see how stable they are. So, you know, I can really push this guy around uh, nice and stable. This one, um, you know, you get some real good wobble. So uh, take that into account when you're looking for one or the other. This is a great kind of knock around lightweight uh, workbench, I find. Uh, I like it because of how lightweight it is. This is 15 pounds. Uh, and this is 28, so that's where the stability is coming from. A lot more material here, nice and rigid. And then this one, some uh, serious wobble. But So for me, tools like this start to shine when you customize them, uh, make them your own, they get easier to use. So when I'm out here working in the yard, I, I often need a work surface. I don't really want to lug around something heavy. Uh, so I made a plywood top for it, put a little cleat on the bottom, and then I get more or less an kind of instant workbench. Uh, so if I'm out here working on tools, uh, you know, mixing mortar, uh, filling my leaf blower, working on the string trimmer, uh, it's just a quick and easy way to get some workspace out here and it's lightweight. So another great use case is uh, working on a string trimmer here. So this has a tendency to flop around and move all over the place. So a little speed clamp right on the handle. Uh, it works great. I can Now I can fill it up with gas and not worry about it moving all over the place. All right, in case anyone was debate buying one of these, light, fluffy snow only. It uh, does not work great with anything else. But every once in a while, we get a snowstorm that it does work good on, so. That's nice.
So there's a little shoveling. Packing these away is pretty simple, especially with the top. Take the tabletop off. Loosen the thumb screws. And this one folds away. So this one folds down a little differently. There are two latches on the side. You squeeze those, folds down, and then the legs fold in. And it's uh, pretty well balanced and easy to transport. So. So which one would I recommend? The WM125, the lighter weight of the two, has been uh, great for me outside in the yard. I've been banging around with it for almost five years now, uh, and it's held up pretty great for 25 bucks. For 37, uh, that's a little steeper, and I don't know that I'd go for that. Uh, the 225, uh, if you're doing woodworking, um, all the way. It's a lot more stable. It's pretty much the only thing I'd recommend if you're, um, you know, doing cutting and that kind of stuff on it. Uh, as a good workbench and lightweight, the 125 is great. But uh, with the prices being so close, if you can get the 225 on sale, definitely just wait for that. Uh, and that's what I'd go with. Hopefully this is helpful for you guys. Uh, if you use something similar, uh, leave me a comment. I'd like to know more about that. Or uh, tell me what you thought of the video. Thanks.